I'm one of those people who likes to have things planned. And so she showed me some of her, her, her tokens. And I was like, <gasps> okay, so these are my tokens. I want that box. This particular <laughs> challenge. And I saw that one with the flower of chivalry. And I love Roland. And I thought, oh my god, but Roland wasn't in a box. It was he in a box canyon. And Dolan says, no, you can't do that. You have to think outside the box. <laughs> <laughs> and so I thought maybe doing autocratting was thinking outside the box enough. But no. So I have a little box. And I have a story about, not written by me, but it's a period story. It's extant. I like extant things. It's about the death of William the Conqueror, we being the Saxon nation that we are. Just before the Assumption of St. Mary, King William went from Normandy into France with an army and raided against his own lord, Philip the King, and killed a great part of his men and burned down the town of Montes and all the holy ministers which were there inside the town. During the attack on Montes, I'm sorry about the pronunciation if that's not right, um, King William, his stomach protruding over the forward part of the saddle, was injured when he was thrown against the pommel and his internal organs ruptured. Ow. So he was a courtly gentleman and paid for it. This thus done, the King William turned back to Normandy. He did a pitiful thing and more pitiful happened to him. His condition, after being poked in the belly or bladder, continued to worsen. And mindful of the afterlife to come, he gave way to repeated sighs and groans, and begging those to pray for him, William confessed his sins and sought pardon. His treasure was distributed to the churches and the poor, so that what I amassed through evil deeds may be assigned to the holy uses of good men. Gifts were also sent as penitents to the clergy at Montes so that they might restore the churches that William's armies had burned. When William died, commending himself to the Virgin, the wealthier in attendance immediately left, anxious to protect their property now that the king was dead. Those who stayed behind, says Orderic, who was writing this um, encounter, seized the arms, the vessels, clothing, linen, and all the royal furnishings, and hurried away, leaving the king's body almost naked on the floor of the house. William the Conqueror's body was conveyed down the Seine and then overland to Caen. There, as the abbots and his monks came to meet the beer, a fire broke out, destroying the greater part of the town. All